Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture we consider sketch and determine energy of the following signals. So what are the following signals? We have got two signals x of t and x of minus n. x of t is nothing but continuous time signal and x of n is discrete time signal. So again what we do here in this video lecture is we'll consider first x of t sketching and uh, later determining its energy and in the next video lecture we'll consider x of n sketching of that signal and later finding its energy. Yes, first let me consider x of t. How do I sketch this signal? Which is nothing but r of t plus 1 minus r of t minus r of t minus 2 plus r of t minus 3. So it is basically, uh, I've got four ramp signals uh, which are added or subtracted. So that uh, we'll consider that first. So let me indicate this signal as, I would call this signal as r of t plus 1 r of t plus 1 with respect to time t. So that is going to be my first signal. What is that r of t plus 1? It is nothing but a ramp signal that is t and it is shifted to the position minus 1. t minus of minus 1 would become t plus 1. So that is what I am going to get at the position minus 1. So this is how the signal would look like. Is that okay? So this I would call it as the time axis is minus 1. This starts from minus 1 and it goes till infinity. So this is r of t plus 1. Similarly I need to sketch the next signal which is nothing but minus r of t. So here I've got an option. Either I would sketch r of t later subtract it and uh, either I would uh, draw minus r of t towards then I would add all the signals. So whenever we get ramp signal it is always better to add up such signals. So hence I am sketching minus r of t. r of t it would uh, look something like this and if I want to sketch minus r of t it is the flipped version of that signal. <coughs> Sorry for that. Yes, this is how minus r of t would look like and that goes till infinity. This is there at the position 0, time axis is 0. Next signal is let me call this as minus r of t minus 2. That means the signal is shifted to the position 2 and the ramp signal would exist there but it is minus r of t hence uh, if it is just r of t minus 2 it would uh, look something like this as it is minus r of t minus 2 the amplitude would become negative hence it would look something like this. So this is nothing but minus r of t minus 2. And the last signal is r of t minus 3. How do I sketch that? It is the ramp signal being shifted to the position 3. Uh, r of t minus 3 it is positive. Hence, it would look something like this. Yes, this signal I would call this as r of t minus 3. Next part is I need to... Uh, add all these four signals so that ultimately I'm going to get my final signal and I would call that as x of t with respect to time t. So what are the possible limits it may take? Here if I consider at the positive side plus 3 is going to the extreme limit and if I go up and check this is minus 1 that is the extreme limit. So let me write down all the limits first. This is minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is where the signal is going to exist. Yes, let me start from the extreme left. Uh, extreme left that is minus 1 to 0. This is the signal and that is how it would look like. If that is added with all zeros, the shape of that signal would remain same. So this is what I am going to get till 0. 0 onwards I start getting another signal. This signal is trying to grow up and this signal is trying to decay and effect of both would nullify and the signal would stop at 1 only and till what position? Till the position 2. After 2 I am going to get another signal. That means I would get the constant signal till the position 2. Yes, after 2 I got one more signal which is trying to decay. So ultimate uh, effect is the, the signal has to decrease. From 2 onwards till 3 the signal would 
decrease so this is how it looks like three onwards three onwards what i'm going to get this signal is going to increase and this signal is going to decrease and ultimately the effect is nullified and i'm not going to get anything so this is zero this stays at zero this is how the ultimate signal x of t would look like is that okay sketching of x of t is very important and next part is to determine its energy so let me write that to find to find the energy so what is the formula to find the energy we have got energy e is equal to integration minus infinity plus infinity x square of t dt this is the formula to find the energy so what would be the limits now is that minus infinity to plus infinity i need to vary that limit according to my numerical so this is the x of t ultimately this is x of t so i would split up the limits as minus 1 to 0 because that is the shape of the signal and uh, plus the next limit is going to be 0 to 2 0 to 2 and ultimately the last limit is going to be 2 to 3 is that okay so what is that signal i need to write minus 1 to 0 what is this signal that is nothing but t but it is been shifted to the left by 1 t minus of minus 1 that is t plus 1 is that okay so this signal is going to be t plus 1 square of this that is what x square of t is and next uh, 0 to 2 0 to 2 the signal is 1 and i need to square that it is nothing but still 1 and 2 to 3 2 to 3 this is the signal so what is that signal to get that uh, the best thing is let me just sketch this i would consider t and i would shift it by minus 3 so this signal is nothing but t plus 3 and to get that i need to flip this so that i'm going to get minus t plus 3 so ultimately this is 3 minus t and i have to square this is that okay so this is how i find the energy next is all the mathematical simplification that i need to uh, proceed further t plus 1 it is a plus b whole square so how do i uh, uh, get that it is a square that is t square plus 1 plus 2ab that is 2t is that fine i have not done the integration yet so let me uh, retain the limits this is with respect to dt plus 0 to 1 let me do all the integration towards the end next is 2 uh, to 3 so here uh, let me uh, is it, it looks like uh, a minus b whole square that is a square uh, that uh, then i have got uh, plus t square minus 2ab that is 6t is that fine so this is how i'm going to get simplified next step is going to be i need to integrate t square the integration of that is going to be t to the power 3 divided by 3 plus integration of 1 with respect to time t is nothing but t plus 2t square divided by 2 for this i would put the limit as minus 1 to 0 plus integration of 1 is nothing but t uh, here this 0 to 2 sorry the so 0 to 2 i would put the limit and next i have got integration of 9 with respect to t is 9t plus t square is nothing but t cube divided by 3 minus 6 t square divided by 2 and i would put the limit as 2 to 3 is that okay so this is what i'm going to get so if i can simplify let me write one more step that is t cube by 3 plus t plus t square 2 and 2 would cancel i would put the limit minus 1 to 0 plus t i would consider the limit 0 to 2 plus here i would get 9t plus t cube divided by 3 i would written as it is minus 3t square and the limits are 2 to 3 yes so now i can put all the limits just all the mathematics that i have to i i have to consider now so first uh, in this expression put a zero uh, everything is a zero 
minus uh, later I would put minus 1 so if I put minus 1 what I'm going to get minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 plus minus 1 square is nothing but plus 1 is that right so first I would put 0 I uh, get 0 minus and uh, in the entire stuff I put t equal to minus 1 this is minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 and uh, plus minus 1 square is nothing but plus 1 this yes, that is right here I'm going to get 2 minus 0 right next thing is I would put in this first t equal to 3 and later I would put t equal to 2 so if I put t equal to 3 that is nothing but uh, 9 into 3 27 plus again a t cube t cube is nothing but uh, 3 to the power 3 that is nothing but again 3 into 3 into 3 27 divided by 3 minus 3 t square t square is nothing but 9 into 3 again 27 this is what I'm going to get and later minus I would put a t equal to 2 9 into 2 is 18 plus 2 cube 8 divided by 3 uh, yes minus 3 t square t square is 4 4 into 3 is 12 is that okay so here minus 1 plus 1 would cancel minus of minus this becomes plus 1 by 3 ultimately and this is uh, 2 and uh, plus 27 minus 27 would cancel 27 uh, divided by 3 3 nines are 27 I'm going to get 9 minus so what I'm going to get here this is uh, plus 18 minus 12 I'm going to get 6 so I would uh, put minus of 6 plus 8 by 3 so I'm going to get 1 by 3 plus 11 minus I'm going to get 18 uh, 3 6 I 18 plus 8 that is 26 divided by 3 so I have to take the LCM as 3 so I'm going to get here 1 plus 11 3 is a 33 minus 26 so if I solve that I'm going to get this is 34 34 minus 26 is nothing but 8 divided by 3 so this is 8 divided by 3 joule so ultimately I would get energy as 8 divided by 3 joule in this case I hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section I am and I'm uh, very much happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching